Preseason preparation is done and the Lady Cougars season is officially off and running. Join us as we go all access CSU softball. The Lady Cougars opened up the season Saturday and Sunday at South Commons in downtown Columbus, participating in the first ever Peach Belt Conference Sunshine State Conference Challenge, a concept brought together by PBC Commissioner Dave Brunk and SSC Commissioner Jay Jones. With this particular event, it really was, wouldn't it be fun if one day we could, we could do a challenge to start the season and kick off Division II softball with two of the stronger leagues in the country and bring them in, play against each other and start the season that way. And um, from there, we, we had conversations with the Columbus Sports Council and others, and things just kind of came together. And the eight participating teams gathered Friday night at the Columbus, Georgia Convention and Trade Center for a kickoff banquet where former U.S. Olympic softball player Michelle Smith served as the guest speaker. And there's a message you leave with today. It's that softball is what you do. It's not who you are. Softball is a conduit to get you to do other great things in your life. You know, and that's the one thing it taught me right there, that my person, my being, was going to be far more important than anything else I was ever going to do on the field if I was ever going to be lucky enough to play again. Prior to first pitch on Saturday, Michelle Smith hosted a clinic for kids around the Columbus area and used some of the Lady Cougars as guest instructors. I like working out here. I like working with the kids. I like coaching. I do it, you know, over summer and stuff, so it's great experience. I used to go to Columbus State camps, and I would go to University of Alabama camps, and I worked with, I worked with all kind of college um, athletes. It was really good for me because I enjoyed being with the athletes and thinking, you know, maybe that could be me one day. And I, I really love working with the kids in the camp because I think that it's a great opportunity for them to learn. Following the clinic, it was time for first pitch as the Lady Cougars took the field for the first time in 2013 against Lynn University. CSU fell behind in the top of the third inning on a Lynn RBI single, but Corey Waugh answered in the bottom half as she drove a 2-1 pitch over the left field wall for a two-run home run and a 2-1 lead. I knew Meeks was at third, and what, I, what was going through my mind is something to the outfield, and honestly, I was trying to hit it on the ground. Um, it, it, as long as I was safe at first and she was scoring, that was my ultimate goal, but, you know, and I guess just trying to hit a line drive, not trying to kill it, just having it go over, you know. Starting pitcher Taylor Turner added an insurance run in the fourth with a run scoring single to make it 3-1, to one, and the Lady Cougars would hold on for a 3-2 to two victory. Turner picked up the win for CSU, and Kristen Carr recorded the save. Six innings was definitely tough. I mean, I haven't thrown it since uh, last season, but it felt good. Glad to be back in the circle. Um, I was just trying to pitch the ball to let the defense play. In game two, the Lady Cougars matched up against St. Leo. CSU allowed two runs in the top of the first inning and was forced to play catch up the rest of the night. St. Leo tacked on three more runs in its half of the sixth inning, while the Lady Cougars never managed to scratch a run across the board. Columbus State dropped game two of the day, five to zero. Sunday, CSU had matchups sent with Florida Tech and Florida Southern. In the opener against Florida Tech, Corey Waugh broke a scoreless tie in the fifth inning as she bombed her second long ball in as many days over the left field wall. Florida Tech answered right back with a run of its own in the bottom half of the inning, and with no score in the sixth or seventh, the game headed to extra innings. In the eighth, with Nina Rubio standing on third base, Taylor Turner grounded a ball in the infield, and Rubio was able to slide around the catcher and avoid the tag to score what would eventually be the game-winning run in a 2-1 CSU victory. Um, well, before uh, Taylor was coming up to bat, Coach H was like, yeah, be aggressive, and anything hit on the ground or you see the ball hit, angle going down, you're going to go. So I knew in my head that I was going to go ahead and do my slide by because as a catcher, you block the plate as much as you can. Um, and so I just saw her and I just went around her and stuck my hand out hoping that I'd reach it on time. Kristen Carr went six and two thirds innings for Columbus State in the circle, allowing just one run. Molly Russell recorded the final four outs for her first win. I thought I pitched pretty good and my defense behind me backed me up and good communication when the ball hit my leg and Nina got the ball and 
got her out first and uh, I did pretty good on square balls and jamming them in a little bit. The first thing is our pitching defense was great. Uh, K Carr, Kristen Carr did an excellent job of uh, going inside on the batters. Uh, they never squared the ball up and uh, we got ground ball. She got some strikeouts and uh, uh, stayed in control the whole game. Molly comes in and finishes out uh, like she should. Uh, defensively, night and day from yesterday, uh, a little more confident in what we were doing. We knew a little more, uh, a little more comfortable. Uh, offensively, we still got to get going. Uh, but I thought Nina did a great job of finding a way on base in the eighth inning. And, and, and Goosh, you know, the, the, the person that we wanted to be hitting uh, has to be uh, selfless in that, in, that, in that opportunity and lay a bunt down and uh, let Taylor do what she needs to do. In the final game of the weekend, it took more late-inning heroics from CSU as the Lady Cougars found themselves trailing one to nothing, headed to the seventh inning. With Bree Nolan on first base and two away, Brannigan Wicks doubled to the gap in left center, scoring Nolan to tie the game at one. A hit batter and a walk followed to load the bases and a pass ball allowed Wicks to score from third and give CSU a two to one lead. Basically, I was just trying to put the ball in play and then you know, I was getting some foul tips and I was feeling good about it. So basically, I was just gonna try to put the ball in play and I was just telling myself, you know, I'm not gonna strike out, you know. And, and it came out and it came out and helped me out. And I just, uh, I was excited when I got on second and I thought Bree had already scored and I turned around and she's running to home. So I was just saying, score, Bree, score. <laughs> Molly Russell set down the side in order in the bottom half to get the complete game victory. Molly pitched probably her best game of the weekend. We had to change some things up while and throughout the game. Molly did a great job changing that. And uh, defensively, another solid performance. Uh, offensively, it's finally got us a little bit feeling better about ourselves as we hit the ball hard. And we hit a lot of line drives in the outfield and the infield. Uh, it's coming. Offensively, it's coming. Uh, you know, in the seventh inning, Brandon comes up big, stays on the ball, drives to the opposite field, something we worked on right before the game. And, 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 and Bree got on base, found a way to get on. And that sets us up. And, and you know, Again, three out of four, th our three wins been one run, come from behind or, or had to you know, keep them at bay or tie ball games, that kind of stuff. I can't ask to be put in some situations we got to learn from as much as we have this weekend. And uh, uh, I'm proud of the way the kids keep fighting. A three and one record closes out the opening weekend for the Lady Cougars as they now get set to head to Clearwater, Florida on Thursday to participate in the Eckerd College Triton Spring Invitational Friday through Sunday. We still got some work doing hitting. Uh, I think we've just been pushing the envelope a little bit. Uh, you know, we hit a little bit today in between games, and I, I think it paid off for us. We just got to go back and continue to do that. People just got to get confidence. They have to understand that it's a timing thing. You know, and, and, and more games we play, the better we're going to be. We have never not hit. That's never been an issue. We will be hitting when, it, when, when we need to.